Hello everyone, I'm Michelle from happypindesign.com and I will be talking today about the benefits of having a Pinterest or business account. Um, I've had some people come to me and say, what the heck would you use Pinterest for? It's I created an account and I don't really understand how to use it for marketing. Um, so I kind of want to address a couple points that I think are important when using Pinterest and hopefully it'll you will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so for starters, there's a lot of statistics out there about Pinterest and marketing. 28% um, of people who are marketers are already using Pinterest for marketing. And then there's a whole, you know, other section of people that don't really understand like why anyone would use Pinterest. They go on Pinterest, they think it's like another social media platform. They think it's like Facebook or Instagram. And it's not, it's more like a search engine so let's say you're going to go on Google and you're going to search up, you know, dog toys for Labrador retrievers or something like that. Um, you're not going to necessarily go on there because you want to have a back and forth conversation. You're going to look on Google because you might want to buy toys for your Labrador. Um, and that's kind of how Pinterest works, too. So when you go on Pinterest, you're really going on there, um, you know, possibly to to research something to purchase, or you're going on there to find a solution to a problem that you have. Um, a lot of people think that Pinterest is just for hair and crafts and recipes, but it's a whole, um, it's just a big search engine of lots of different things. And, you know, hairstyles and recipes are just like one little element of it, which are super helpful. I love going on there to try to find things like that, but that's just one use. That's one thing that people do with it. Um, it can get a little confusing and overwhelming if you don't know how to use the platform very well. Um, but for marketing purposes, a couple of statistics that I wanted to kind of go over with you um, that maybe will help you see the importance of using Pinterest for your own business or blog. Um, I want to just kind of go over those with you. Um, so first of all, the first thing I want to say is Pinterest is not a social media platform. It's not Instagram. It's not Facebook. You can go on there and leave comments under pins, but that's not what people use it for. They use it to research solutions to their problems. So if you have a business that is solving a problem or you have a blog where you're coaching people or you have some sort of online thing that you want to be recognized by lots of different people or your specific audience, Pinterest can do that for you. Um, it's great because people are already on there searching. They're searching up things, you know, like for my business, they're searching up Pinterest tips. They're searching up how to make Pinterest graphics. You know, they're searching up all of the things already. You don't even need to tell them to go there and do that. They're already doing that. So when you create a business account on Pinterest, you already have people that are looking for the things that you do. I mean, there are some businesses, I will say there are some businesses that probably shouldn't be on Pinterest. I know some B2B businesses probably wouldn't do well. I'm not saying all of them, but some of them probably wouldn't do well on um, Pinterest. But there are plenty, I mean, I've seen real estate companies use Pinterest successfully. I've seen, you know, marketing and social media and website gurus um, use it successfully. It's really... Um, I mean, go look on there and see if your niche or your business is already doing something on there. That's the one way to know if maybe having a Pinterest account would benefit you. Um, the second thing, um, you know, I want to say is that Pinterest is not just for girls. Yes, a lot of women go on Pinterest because they're the shoppers of the family. They're the ones that are researching how to fix things and how to make their home life better and recipes to try and they're the ones, you know, trying to, they're doing the shopping for the family. So they're looking up products and they're looking up things that they want to um, find more information about. Um, they're also the ones that are probably doing blogging and businesses from home. Um, but that does not mean that men aren't on Pinterest. In fact, the statistics are showing that more and more men are signing up um, for Pinterest. And Actually, I think the statistic that I wrote down was that 40% of U.S. dads are using Pinterest, and they're actually actively using it. They're not just going on there and creating accounts. They're actively searching things on Pinterest um, that they want to do and buy. Um, so that's, uh, you know, another statistic that is it's not just a women's or a, you know, a, a teenage girl's platform. Men actually use it. 
Um, so 61% of users make purchases from prom promoted ads. 61%. So 61% of the people that come on Pinterest, they'll see a promoted ad, which by the way, promoted ads are fairly inexpensive. Um, compared to Facebook, they're very inexpensive and um, to run and you can run them for, you know, two weeks, three weeks, whatever, and you're not going to be stuck with this huge $500 bill. It's your marketing. You can actually have a marketing budget with Pinterest. Um, you can choose to spend $3 a day. You can choose to spend $10 a day or $100 a day, whatever. Um, and your ad will still be seen. Um, I'm testing that out as I speak. I'm not super expert on Pinterest ads, but I do know that they are fairly inexpensive to run. I've run Facebook ads for companies before and I've dropped easily in a week 500 bucks. So, and you know, the the outcome of the Facebook ads aren't always what I wanted um, because they're, you know, it's hard to kind of, I think I feel like Pinterest does a better job of targeting your audience um, and not ripping you off. <laughs> I think Facebook's getting better at that, but Pinterest is growing in the ads area. So when you create a pin on Pinterest, um, you kind of, you want to have a business account, first of all, but you want to keep track of the analytics on that pin and see if people are clicking and saving it. And once you realize that they're clicking and saving it and going to your blog or your website or what, or your product or whatever it is, then you can run an ad on that because it's already gaining traffic. So you run an ad and it starts to, you know, get more and more eyes on it. Um, uh, the third thing that I already kind of covered is that Pinterest is a great marketing tool. This is great. People are already coming on there to make, they want to make purchases. They're already like in the stage where they want to buy something. Um, so Pinterest is not just for recipes. It's not just for hairstyles. It's not just, for you know, pretty things. In fact, I would say that Pinterest is, um, when you compare kind of, even though it's not a social media platform, but when you compare it to something like Instagram, Instagram is perfect. <laughs> the pictures on there are perfect. Everything's perfect. I kind of get annoyed with Instagram a little bit because it's just too unrealistic for me. I love Pinterest because people on Pinterest want to see the before and afters. They want to see the messes. They want to see, you know, the the um, problems and then they want to see the solutions to that problem. So even if you're not selling a product, maybe you're writing articles about something or maybe you're trying to promote, um, you know, your some sort of business where you're solving a problem. Um, they love to see the process. So when you post your pins, they don't have to be perfect, pretty like Instagram. They can be, um, they can be messy, they can be real, they can be, you know, real life stuff. And that's what I really like about Pinterest is that you don't have to be fake or phony on there. You can be the real deal. Um, so two things that you really must do if you want to start using Pinterest. And I mean, Pinterest strategies and Pinterest marketing is a huge topic. But just to get started, if you're thinking about using Pinterest, first thing is to create a Pinterest account and you can link your personal, so you get, there's a personal Pinterest account that you can have and you can link it. I think, I think I read that you can link it up to five businesses. So you want to create a business account too. You can convert your personal account to a business account. Um, there's directions on Pinterest for all of that stuff. Um, but if you have any questions, please feel free to just, um, email me at Michelle at happypindesign.com and I'd be happy to help you or direct you to the link. Um, the second thing that you want to do is um, you need to mark up your website. You want to um, be able to have something called rich pins. So if you have a recipe, if you have an article, if you have a product, you can create these things called rich pins and it just drives way more traffic to your website. Um, your, your pins become branded with your logo or, and anyone who saves that pin will see your information. So it's just like another level up it, whereas like a personal account is not going to see your blog. It's not going to see all these, you know, marketing tools. You're not going to be able to look at the analytics necessarily. So having rich pins, which requires a little bit of legwork on the back end, I'm not going to lie. Um, you need to, mark up your website page and then you need to make sure that um, Pinterest has 
uh, validated your pins as rich pins and they have a rich pins val validator tool that you can use to validate that your pins are working. I just did that today to make sure mine were. Um, and so those are like two really important things, setting up a personal account. And then if you wanna convert that to a business account, you can, and I believe that you could just make a business account as well and keep your personal one. And then getting the rich pins. Um, so there's a process to that, which you can find, um, I think it's in your account information, but you can also just Google, you know, rich pins, Pinterest, how to create rich pins on Pinterest. And you will find the information. I'll try to leave the links in, below in this video as well to kind of help you. But those are two great ways. Um, so you need to, obviously you need to have a blog or a website to do that. You can't just, you can sign up for Pinterest and not have a blog, but you can't really advertise yourself or your, promote yourself if you don't have a website. You can't, I don't believe that there's a way to, you know, just do this with a Facebook page or something. You actually need a website um, that they can go to. Um, so import, really important kind of things, you know, I, I would like to go to go into in the future is that once you create that account, it, there's a lot of confusing things. There's, I, I really suggest you go and read all of the information that Pinterest has available about how to set up your boards, um, how to create pins, the best practices for pins. Um, and they just have lots of statistics about, you know, what companies do better on Pinterest. They have a website for trends you can look at and see what's trending on Pinterest. Um, and it's not just for US users, international users. Um, one of the statistics that I read is that 322 million monthly active viewers are on, on Pinterest. That's a lot of eyeballs. And now not all of those are gonna be on your stuff, but 322 million active users, that's all together. And 51 million of them are international users. So if you have a business that wants to attract international um, persons, that's a great, another great reason to use Pinterest. Um, so takeaways are just that Pinterest is not just another social media platform. You know, it's a marketing tool. It's a really impressive marketing tool. And once you get to learn it and use it, you can really grow your blog with it. You can get more and more email subscribers. If that's what your goal is, you can get people to download your stuff. You can get people to buy your stuff and your brand will stand out on Pinterest um, more than it will probably on some other social sites. So keep that in mind and go check out Pinterest and see if that's something you want to do. And please feel free to ask me questions if you have any. All right. I hope that has helped. Hope all my jumbling kind of helped you figure out if Pinterest is a right path for you. And um, I look forward to doing some more of these in the future. Um, visit my blog at happypindesign.com and read more articles about how to use Pinterest for your marketing efforts. Thanks, guys.